Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you notice you have very slow boot up times on your Windows computer. So if for some reason your computer is just taking abnormally long or it's just really slow to boot up, I'm going to show you guys a few different ways on how to hopefully speed it up without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd suggest doing would be to right click on a blank area of your taskbar. And then left click on Task Manager. Select the Startup tab. Now there should be a list of various programs and applications that should populate this list. Now if anything's currently enabled, which you can see one of these services is, you can see a Startup Impact is listed here, so it should say Low, Medium, or High. And if it's currently disabled, it'll just say None. So assuming you use your computer regularly, you'll more than likely have several, if not dozens, of potential programs listed in here. So that's just coming in here periodically and just selecting ones that you don't need to start up with your computer. So if you have various programs or printers perhaps that start up, or printer software that starts up when your computer turns on, you can usually disable that. So just select the service and then select the disable button down here. And if you ever want to re-enable it, just select the enable button again. Please keep in mind there's nothing that this prevents from actually using the program on your computer. It just will have to actually be manually started, so if you need a certain program that you're disabling here, it won't boot every time your computer turns on, but if you search for it in the start menu and you want to run or open up an application, that should not interfere with it. So that's usually what I recommend. This is like the first and best method, in my opinion, about speeding up your slow boot time. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best match to go back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to either large or small icons. And now you want to go select the area that says power options. So go left click on that. Select choose what the power button does. And if you see an option underneath the shutdown settings to turn on fast startup, I'd suggest unchecking that. This sounds kind of counterintuitive since the fast boot is designed to reduce startup time by preloading some of the applications and boot information before your PC actually turns off. But in my experience, it actually will slow down your startup. So if you have an option here, I'd recommend unchecking it and then selecting save changes. So not every computer has it as in my case, but if you guys have it, I'd suggest turning it off and select save changes and see if that makes a difference. Another thing you can try here would be if you close that here, Open up the start menu again, type in adjust performance. One of the best managers should come back with adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the advanced tab. And then underneath virtual memory, select the change option. So if it's currently set to automatically manage the paging file size for all drives, you want to unselect that. And then you want to select custom size here input the recommended into the initial size field here and then as well as you can bump up your maximum size it's a little bit subjective here but generally speaking I'd probably just to the nearest third place value or something along those lines so you can kind of play around with that a little bit you can even go up to usually one and a half times your actual RAM size on here so it really depends on how far you really want to take it but generally speaking this is going to vary depending on how much RAM you have installed in your computer. So I'm kind of just following along with the recommended guidelines down here. It's not a huge deal if you bump up a little bit from the recommended settings as long as it's within reason. And just go ahead and left click on OK once you're done with that and then select OK once more. Another thing you can do if you open up the start menu, type in Windows Features. Best match to go back with turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to scroll near the bottom. If you see any option that says a Windows subsystem for Linux, you want to uncheck it here. So if you notice you have an option, again, Windows subsystem for Linux, just unselect that. So unless you actually use the Linux terminal on your computer, for, or if you're a developer perhaps, there's no need to have it on here. So again, it's just something you can turn off. So select OK for that again. Another thing you can try, open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager, left click on that. Expand the display adapter section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. 
and then whatever display adapter is listed under here you want to right click on it and then left click on update driver you want to search automatically for updated driver software So it might say that the best drivers are already installed. You can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update if you want to take it a step further. So just giving you guys another option there. One further thing I'd try would be to, again, open up the Start menu, type in Programs and Features. So Apps and Features, we're going to go ahead and open that up. Alternatively, you can also go through the Control Panel and go into the Classic Programs and Features option and you should see a listing of different programs that are installed in your computer over here on the right side. I suggest going through and actually removing programs so you, you don't need them anymore, you don't use them. If you notice they clutter up your computer, maybe you get a lot of pop-ups for them, this is a pretty easy way to just go ahead and just remove them right from here. So there's some programs like Microsoft Corporation programs like Calculator and 3D Viewer that you probably won't be able to uninstall, in which case actually there are a few that you might be able to get rid of, but you don't generally have to worry too much about the Microsoft Corporation ones. It's more the third-party applications in here. And go through and just see if there's anything you don't use anymore, especially like the free programs. I just remove them after a while if I don't find myself using them on a regular basis. So just giving you guys another option out there. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.